Seven X News reporter Ali Hoxie is live at Sinai Grace Hospital on Detroit's west side with an update on that officer's condition. Ali. That's right. Police officer Felipe Batum BC is still here at the hospital behind me. Officer Rasheen McLean and him were both attacked on Detroit's west side Wednesday night. Now, officer Rasheen McLean is a 16 year veteran of the Detroit Police Department. He was always known as the rock of the department, helping other officers out, even training officer Batum BC at the 12th precinct. Officer Rasheen and officer Batum BC were the first to respond to a home invasion on Wyoming near Eight Mile Wednesday night. Officer Rasheen called for backup when they were told there was a man inside that home with a rifle. Four officers went inside the home and cleared the first floor. Officer Rasheen was the first to go into the basement to clear the basement. He suffered a single gunshot wound to the neck, which ultimately took his life. Officer McLean leaves behind his wife and two stepchildren. To interact with the community, to be um, an example of what officers are supposed to act and look like, that was Officer McLean. I had an opportunity uh, to look at his body worn camera. Uh, no surprise that when he arrived at the scene, uh, he was in charge. He understood that he was faced with a very dangerous situation. Chief James Craig showed off the rifle that was used in the attack. He says he believes the 28 year old suspect had some sort of tactical training and that the alleged gunman baited the officers. The two other officers inside returned fire. The suspect was shot, ran from the home only to be found and sent here to Sinai Grace Hospital. We do know the name of that suspect. We are not releasing his name until he has been formally charged by prosecutors. As as soon as those charges come down, we'll update you on social media and we'll also update you right here on our air. Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. All right.